All right, so we were talking about this earlier. The end of the school year was really hard to focus. It was, for me, in high school, hard to focus. Because yeah. you, the, the weather's getting warmer, you want to go out, you just want to be outside, right? Absolutely. You're not thinking about schoolwork. But if it's art, you really enjoy the art. Yeah, right? and Hannah is with a group of kids who, they are having a lot of fun. They're doing art, they're getting ready for a festival. Is that right, Hannah? Yeah, Adam, here at Aranaquit High School, they do an arts festival every school year before they say bye for summer. Uh, and they have some resident artists who come in from the community to teach them new forms of art. I'm here with Gina Zanoli. I hope I got that right. Uh, you actually teach at the Memorial Art Gallery. Yes. And now you've come to Aranaquit to show them self-portraits. Talk mm -hmm. about that. Okay, so the goal for the next couple of days is to teach them how to draw their face looking through a mirror. Um, so um, I'm going to be showing the various ways of doing that, using proportion, shadow, light, etc. Well, now, what do you use to draw this? So these were done in charcoal, and there's one self-portrait, one of another person I did, and one copying something, uh, another person, uh, from a photograph. So these are done in pencil and charcoal. They're going to be using, I'm, I think, pencil. And um, they're looking to add a mirror. That's really difficult. That is super difficult. Jeez. And you know what? Hey, we're in a high school, so we got to ignore the bell. Don't go anywhere. You're stuck with me. Um, we're going to step over here. Uh, that is what they'll be learning. This is something that some of these people have been doing. They've been drawing, sculpting. This is something I saw right when I walked in. Tell me about this. Oh, my gosh. First of all, give us your name. And uh, what is this? First of all, it's an elephant, but what is it? Um, my name's Kennedy Cottrell, and this is a functional teapot. It hasn't been glazed yet, but once it has been, it will be fully functional to put water and serve tea. So it's like a, it's a tea trunk, kind of, instead yeah, of a tree trunk, maybe? The, Was that a bad joke? <laughs> the water is going to go in here, and then it comes out. The little little trunk. That is unbelievable clay. You made that? It's made out of clay. Wow. Never could I. I did a pottery class earlier in the year, and mine looked nothing like that. It just didn't turn out like that at all. You're really good. I like it. Talk about this art. Um, oh, that's not yours. Hey, that's okay. I gave you credit. That's all right. Um, tell me about this in front of you. It kind of looks like a creature. It's Is it something from the sea? Um, it was made from a sketch of a seed pod. Okay. So um, we took images of a seed pod and we had to make one realistic and one um, kind of like one that was like formed into a creature and this one was my realistic one. Wow, I like it. All of these beautiful, hold up your pieces of art, guys. I'm not going to get a chance to talk to all of you, but hold them up for the camera. Be so proud. I mean, it's amazing. This guy over here, he's still working. He's always perfecting. Remind me what this is. You cracked me up with your answer earlier. Um, this is a guy holding a whale to sacrifice to the overlord battery god, the uh, Energizer Bunny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, folks, you don't hear it all, but you hear it here on Fox Rochester. Sacrificing a whale to the overlord. Um, you don't hear that every day, do you, Stan? I, I, I actually do hear that every day. Um, but here, to me... To me, I mean, everybody talks about art and the ethereal stuff. and I've been watching this man's face as he's doing this. And we're talking about getting in the zone and getting in the... He was totally just in another world. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's gone now, but the look was... It, it'll come back. And that's what you do in your toothpick when you create toothpick structures, right? It's therapy, right? It's, the it's supposed to be surreal. Surreal. So. Surreal therapy. Yeah. And we need therapy. Yeah, well... Yes. I do. I know I do. <laughs> I'm going to need therapy after this morning. Stan. Uh, just kidding. Stan will just be here kidding. also this week <laughs> teaching people uh, about his toothpick structures. So there you go. Thank you, Hannah. Thanks, Stan. Thank